I think we've all learned a lot about sewing through YouTube videos, but there's a lot of content out there. So today I'm going to share my favorite sewing channels that I think you should follow and stick around for the last one because I think it's going to be something a little bit unexpected for you. It's a little different, but I think it's really going to change the way you think about sewing. But before we get to that, if you're someone who's interested in making your own clothing with more intention and joy, you're definitely in the right place here at Seamwork. So hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can follow along with us and never miss one of our weekly videos. All right, so if you're somebody who likes to watch a project unfold from the beginning stages, the planning stages, all the way through to the end product, I think you're gonna love this channel. And that channel is Sewing Therapy. So Sewing Therapy is run by Sarah and she's a fabric store owner and video creator, and she makes really, really beautiful project diaries. They're just very, very soothing to watch. Um, she shares projects from independent designers and also from big four pattern companies. And again, you can watch the entire project unfold, which is really, really fun. She just goes through the entire thing, with really soothing background music, which I personally really like. So I would really recommend that you watch her make nine playlists because in those she documents her pledge to make nine projects every year and they're they're just going to be really inspiring for you and they might inspire you to join the make nine challenge yourself you can get an idea of her project diaries from the video that we're going to link which is a step-by-step -step diary for making the led dress from closet core patterns if you like seeing every single little detail of a project and sewing along with other people i think you're going to like this next channel so the next channel we're sharing is So So Live. And So So Live is a channel all about streaming live sewing projects. So Sarah Mee is the creator and she talks you through every single step as she sews a garment. And she even has a video for the Seamwork Audrey denim jacket. So we'll link to that one so you can watch it and get a really good idea. It's almost three hours long. So that gives you a sense of how incredibly detailed this is and she talks about every single aspect of sewing this pattern. And it's really like just attending this really friendly class with a really friendly instructor and a great group of people all chatting at the same time. It's a really fun way to experience sewing with a group of people. So if you can catch the live streams, you can actually chat with Sarah Mee and chat with the other people who are watching at the same time. And if you don't, you can watch the replays on her YouTube channel along with a whole bunch of other videos. She also does short tutorials. So if you want to watch shorter videos, she's got a lot of content on her channel that you can check out. And she just, she packs her channel with videos. It's a really awesome resource. And you'll find ideas for fitting clothes to your body, for getting best finishes, and for other tricky techniques. So definitely check out Sarah Mee if you want to see a lot of detail. If you're looking for a channel that's really energizing and dynamic, and really friendly, then this next channel, Thoughtful Creativity, might be the one for you. So Thoughtful Creativity is run by Elisa, and Elisa is one of those creators that just always makes you smile when she pops up in your feed. She just has this energy about her. Her mission is really to spread a love of sewing, and that really comes through in her channel. Her attitude is just really infectious, and you can tell she just wants to be your sewing friend. So I love that. Her videos are great for beginners or for anyone who really wants to explore the more niche parts of sewing. And she also has a lot of videos about pattern drafting topics, which are a little bit harder to find on YouTube. So if you're interested in learning a little bit about pattern drafting, making slopers, that sort of thing, it's a great channel to turn to. And she's just so fun to watch. So you can check out her video for all her favorite serger tips. That's the one we recommend starting with, and we'll put a link to that one. Now, if you like sewing vlogs and things that are more in a vlog style, then you might like the fold line, which is the next one we're gonna share. So Kate and Rachel started the fold line in 2015, and it was intended to help you easily find sewing patterns. So they're big supporters of the indie sewing community and indie sewing pattern designers. So you can shop for patterns and copy shop printing resources on their website, um, but you should also check out their YouTube channel because their YouTube channel has a bunch of different kinds of videos. And you'll find pattern releases, you'll find fabric hauls, you'll find how-tos, there's all different kinds of videos. It's really diverse and in a more personal, vlog style that I think appeals to a lot of us. So they have videos about all kinds of stuff, like I said, but they even have videos that show you how to find sewing patterns to copy looks from popular TV shows, for example. And they do these really, um, these really popular trend reports 
for seasons that I really enjoy watching. So you can watch their most recent spring trend video. We're going to link to that one so you can get an idea of what their style is and what those videos are all about. Now, if you're into vintage fashion and classic techniques and creators who have beautiful accents, then you're going to want to check out Evelyn Wood for sure if you haven't seen her channel already. So Evelyn is the founder of Vintage Sewing School and her channel is just a total delight if you're into vintage fashion of any kind. She shows you a lot of old school sewing techniques from vintage and antique books, but modernized, and she'll show you some shortcuts to make them a little bit easier for today's sewers. So if you love vintage style or you love those kind of classic techniques that maybe aren't in use as much anymore, she is a really, really great resource. And if you like things like thrifted textiles, refashioning projects, um, and again, vintage sewing, you'll definitely want to tune into her channel. So we're gonna share a video that you can start with from Evelyn, which is all about the top problems that you'll encounter when you're sewing facings and how to fix them. So if you're looking for a totally different, really creative approach to sewing, then this is the wild card for you, and that's the channel Kulerpa. So Kulerpa is a channel run by April. She's the creator behind it, and she has almost 2 million YouTube subscribers, actually over 2 million subscribers on YouTube. And at first glance, when you look at the channel, you'll see a lot of DIY, a lot of refashioning, a lot of costuming, but you can find so many tips and ideas here for sewing garments, even if you're sewing them from the ground up and not doing a lot of refashioning. There's just so much power in what she does and all of the creative ways that she upcycles existing garments into new garments. It can really just help you feel confident in your ability to sew, your ability to fix mistakes, and just fit clothes to your body. So channels like Kulerpa are so important for helping you learn how to break the rules, how to experiment, and how to just have fun with sewing. So we're gonna share a video where she creates a bunch of clothes that Amazon keeps advertising to her and she makes them herself. So check out that video to get a good sense of what Kulerpa's channel is all about. And those are the sewing YouTube channels that I think you should follow. But there's one more. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you get all our weekly videos. We also have a podcast called Seamwork Radio where we talk every week about practical ideas for building a creative process so you can sew with more intention and joy because that's what we're all about. So just search for Seamwork Radio on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you like to listen to podcasts. So wherever you choose to join us, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Remember to have fun and be yourself because that's what sewing is all about. <laughs>